So welcome to Compline, our evening prayer. If you have the Worship at Home booklets, it's from page 10. If you're using the Daily Worship Common Worship book, we're using the, uh, the, the Order of Night Prayer and it's from page 337. Like always, you can just listen to the words. You may know them by now and you can join along with us. Um, our psalm for today is Psalm 138. So if you have your Bibles, you can find that and read along with us. So let's begin. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. And so in a period of silence, we bring to God all the things of today and perhaps the things of this week, the things that have upset us, distressed us, the things that maybe we might want to bring to God to ask for forgiveness. And so saying together, Most, most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And so our hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our daily foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ your only Son, and Holy Spirit by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. So Psalm 138. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise to you. I will bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. In the day that I called to you, you answered me. You put new strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he watches over the lowly. As for the proud, he regards them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will preserve me. You will stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand will save me. The Lord shall make good his purpose for me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures for ever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures for ever. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Lord our God, supreme over all things, look upon the humble and lowly and put new strength into our souls to complete your purpose for us. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Bible reading this evening is taken from Hebrews chapter 11. 
Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith, our ancestors received approval. By faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. And so the Nuptimitus. Save Live us, O Lord, Lord, while waking, waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So now we have our prayers. That this evening may be good, holy and peaceful for ourselves, for those that we love, for those whose stories we've heard in the news and who are on our minds this evening. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That your holy angels may lead us in the paths of peace and goodwill. That those who are guided by anger may find your peace. That those who are ruled by jealousy may find your love. that those who need to hear your word, your words of comfort, may hear them. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and our offences. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that there may be peace in your church and for the whole world. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with St Nicholas and St Thomas and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. Amen. And so a prayer written by Reverend Nicky Mann. God of love, you see and share in the hurt and injustice of the world. We pray for change, for justice and equality everywhere. Inspire good leadership that will always seek higher values and work for peace. 
Help us to work together for a world where each is valued and respected. In humility we ask for insight to face our own prejudice and biases. Transform our hearts so we may value and celebrate one another as you do. Amen. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. For may your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our, our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make, make us dwell, dwell in safety. safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and, and the, the day, day is, is now past. past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Us. Come, with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the, the breaking, breaking of, of the bread. bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen. So from Joel and I and all at St Nicholas Church and at St Thomas in Ellsfield, we send you love and peace in these times and we pray that you will end today with a slightly less heavy heart and rest well this evening. God bless you and we hope that we will see you again on Tuesday. Take care until then.